your name? Where you from? Oh, yo, I'm Terrence from Detroit. All right, Detroit in the house, Detroit. Yep. What you guys see? You guys tripping out on this building. What do you guys yeah, think? I was watching it live on TV. And it was weird. It looked like a, a before and after oh. canvas. It's it like they were just gradually going up, and then a helicopter came out of nowhere and started talking, like, get out of the building, get out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> we but the police ain't do nothing. Another level is they said that they had the funds, but they demanded more funds. So pretty much what they did was the, uh, I don't want to say, but a nation, an Asian uh, nation, pretty much tried to capitalize on some funding and they didn't work out. <laughs> that's yeah. what the word is on the street. Yeah. Hey, yo, if it was insured, then that's technically vandalism. So technically, that's a lot that they could write off if it's insured. Yeah, yeah they, they, that, that part. And so personally, it looks really organized. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because all of this is under spot six, right? Yeah. So, so, so I, I had a meeting in Long Beach with commissioners and Biden and the city of Los Angeles just released six hundred million dollars as of January third for homelessness here in. Los Angeles. So turn it into that. Yeah. Well, see, and, and so you know, yeah. yeah. We could turn this into a nonprofit organization housing center, right? Every single homeless person within a two square mile would fit in that building right there. If they took it over to do that, I think I could take it over to make this an appropriate housing situation for all of the home, or at least an option. And the rent would definitely be under $1,500. Just remember you heard it here first of Pico Swab. Yeah. Me, <laughs> trying to steal our shit. It's called, it's fine, it's right here. Hurt, H-U-R-T. Nero, F-E-D, faded every day, crew. Chaos, T-S-E, crew. So now, now what do you do with the building? It's just whatever, you know, lo que caiga, what they want to do with it. I mean, shit. Fuck, if you from LA, you gotta hit this shit, dog. You tell them her. If you from LA and you tag and you don't hit this shit, you don't write, bro. Get up out of here. Hey. Shit, straight up. Get after or get hurt, tell them. Hey, get after or get hurt, federal. Hey. Hey, man, thank you, fellas. Thank you, homie. What do you guys think about the building behind us right here? You guys seen it? Uh, we tripped out on there the last five days. I saw. They're mobbing up there. That, that's, that's. LA style for you. I don't know how else to I say thought, I, I, But this is where it all started. I told so. the homeboy, let me get on his shoulder so I can fucking do my fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> they should give me a roof so I can take a hey, fucking right Hey, who should just start moving in, huh? Yeah, that's hey, it. So that's even really better. Hey, I got the top floor. <laughs> hey, I think the bottom, I ain't tripping, hey. <laughs> like shit. back in the days when there was a abandoned, uh, abandoned house. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I remember growing up in abandoned house. You would take bro. a bitch in there, dog. No, hey, <laughs> Go I, party. I used to take bitches really? to abandoned cars. Hey, but you know, like I said, that's my, that's my era, you know? No, that, was my, so, hey, that was my way of expressing. Hey, I, 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 I was one of paint on the wall, I paint with different shit, dog. Hey. I'm, a, I'm an 80s baby and, and, and did my best in the 90s. Hey. I feel you, I feel you. I paint walls, too. Okay. Yo, what up? It's your girl Whitley from East Atlanta, Decatur Zone 6, Decatur, where it's greater fun with me, you feel me? Yep, yep. So what you think about this building behind you right here? Man, I think this building is art. Honestly, this is the dopest building that LA has. Like, LA is a city that's known for, like, its artists and its creators as I am. So, like, when I see a building like this, bro, I really just see, like, a bunch of artists who put their heart and soul into some work. It's beautiful, honestly. I think the value of the building just went up by $10 million, bro. I'm not even being sarcastic. That's like, real. That's, like, $10 million worth of art, and it's beautiful, and they better not tear it down either. So, overall, do you think it's an artistic display by the city here? I think it's better than what it was, and I love that the people took it back in a way, you know, and, like, made it something. Like, now people are talking about it it's art it is art it's like native la art and i'm sure now someone's gonna buy it and something's gonna come of it out of those artists so wish they got a cut <laughs> yeah. i think my problem is like how did the city let it go that like the investors bailed out and they ran out of money like what the heck you know why wasn't there any protection for that you know insurance or some sort exactly. of uh yeah what would you guys say is a good idea now now that they've been abandoned uh, if the mayor called you up and asked you what, what they should do with it now what would you know. guys think for one if they really cared about the building finish repairing it and, or honestly just leave it how it is with the graffiti or, and everything or you know what they should do you know the city should hire like the graffiti artists and have them finish the job <laughs> you know because if they're not going to fix it if they're going to leave it like this for who knows how long what do y'all think about the building right here behind us i love it i love it it's, it's, uh, it's 
I think that's like rage against the system, rage against the machine, man. And I love it, man. It's resistant. That means, this means resistance. Are you gonna be here I, after the game? I sure will, my brother. I sure will. Uh, hey. th that means resistance, man. It take a lot for people to resist like that. And I appreciate you guys for resisting like that. To leave a mark on these rich people like this, these people that own this shit, them people that don't come back and do nothing for the community but take and, and blood suck us and do everything they can to keep us down. That shit ain't never been done in the world. Hey, make history out here, man. Make history. I used to do vandalism, man, you know, and I, and I take it back, you know, because I, I, I was young and dumb, you know? Yeah. But now I, I'm matured a little bit more, you know, and, and that, I, I don't think that was pretty cool, you know? Hey, but some people try to be known, you know, in different ways. And that's one of the ways that they, they want to be known in the city. Hey, what goes with that comes consequences, bro. Yeah. You know, and hey, the city is full of people where you just don't know what's gonna happen, man. But that right there is that was kind of off the limit, but it's cool, I guess, for them. Somebody what? was trying to make a statement and a statement they made. I agree. When you go up and you knock out one window on every floor and tag that thing. Nah. You definitely made your statement. For I'm, sure. I'm here for it as an artist. I don't know. I, I mean, like, what y'all doing? Y'all trying to push out the common folk? Like, yep. what? I, it's a message to me. It's yep. a message. Like, y'all, y'all don't run here. nothing over here. We, we run everything we, over here. And we not from LA, but we still built that. Built like, it. we've been here for a minute, but we still built that. Like, why are you putting up these billion-dollar skyrise buildings? They done changed the name of the Staples Center. Like, what's going on? So let me help y'all make a name. You wanted some attention? Here you go. There you go. <laughs>